Good evening, and welcome to the stream. I uh, hope you all are having a good evening. Um, this Thursday, uh, it is a unconventional day for me to be streaming, but as you may know, I was not here Wednesday, so this is sort of like a makeup stream. It's gonna be the same, uh, same time frame, six to eight, uh, or if I, I might go over to finish a run that I'm on if I feel inclined, but you know, um, so let me get chat up. Okay. There's chat. Here's the game. So we know how this game works now, or I should say, I know how this game works now. Um, so we should be able to get some good runs going, hopefully. Um, I know you can't hear anything. So let me fix that. There's the game. My microphone is on. Oh, close, you can hear it. Okay. So let's get right into it. Yeah, we know Homer. We know this guy. We know him. Okay, so... Scatter, join, defend, and attack. Okay. Get these guys. Uh, I guess there's always just 16. Uh, I always, I always seem to end up with 16. What's our starting lineup look like, actually? Two philosophers, nine citizens, four slaves, and eight livestock. I wonder if that's the same as well, every time. What's my special small talker? Okay. Uh, I was hoping for a better role on that, but what can you do? Oh. I have a new mob leader? Okay, let's see. Union rep? He turned all bystanders into citizens. All of them? That sounds kind of bad. Imagine having a team of only citizens. I mean, you could afford a lot of, you know, citizen-based heroes, but... I don't know, that sounds really bad. Um... I guess we'll give it a shot, though. I'd like to see what it does. Who's this? She made enemies drop items. Yes. We'll take that. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. So, presumably, everybody is going to be a citizen that we see. Um... Yep, citizen, citizen. Well, I mean, the livestock are still livestock, but. Let's go. Ah, uh, look at all these citizens. They're so angry. Ouch. Give me an item, yes. 
I should be able to hold four items. Uh, so th this first stage at this point is kind of like just a freebie. So I suppose we can we can talk strategy, right? So if we only have citizens, what does that mean for us? Um, oops, accidentally used that. Yeah, look at that. We have 18 citizens. Uh, I suppose that means we won't just we won't be able to pick up philosophers actually, which um. Which will be bad. Uh, didn't think of that until now. Um, so we should probably prioritize defense as uh, as heavily as we can. Yeah. See, and it means a lot of heroes we won't actually be able to purchase. So I'm not sure what citizens do. Maybe, um, well, we have 140% HP, so perhaps having more citizens increases our maximum HP, which I guess is not a bad trade-off. Are they running? Meat acquired. Oh, hold on, chat. Gotta warm up. Okay. Sorry about that. Got a call. It wasn't for my mom this time. If you can believe that. Yeah, these at this point, these first few stages are just like a formality. I really don't feel like there's much realistic chance of us failing. The only real threat, I think, in these stages is the, um, is like the barrels that I destroy from Black Fire. Whoop! Am I supposed to be able to do that? Uh, let's get that. There we go. I didn't know that could happen. Um, yeah, this this mini boss is pretty pretty bad by himself. Actually, he can't do anything. Can he? Feel a little bad. pick that up
We have four slaves. Oh, am I the other one? Okay. Farm some hype. I don't actually know what that bar is called. I keep calling it hype. Just that makes the most sense to me. I don't think the game's given it a name though. Okay, see, this this is where having a ludicrous amount, it's morale. Oh yeah, it is morale. You're right. Morale. Um, well, this is where having a ludicrous amount of citizens helps because now we can just trade for anything we want. And I think the obvious choice here is philosophers. Because our HP is pretty... I, th I think it's maxed out right now. I don't know how high that can go. But since we can't get philosophers naturally, it only seems to make the most sense to me to grab them when we can. So, get some morale. Oh, ouch. Not cool. Oh, nope. Stay away from that. I'm learning. Oh! Okay. Get some health. Oh, uh, in other news, this isn't related to the game, per se, but, uh, it's, it's some, some gaming information. Um, the controller I was using for my PlayStation 3, it wasn't working properly. So uh, I managed to get myself a new uh, PS3 controller. Uh, it's a third party controller, but it seems to work pretty fine. Um, so I'm happy about that. Oh, explosive barrel acquired. Where am I going? I went and got myself a new, uh, a new title as well. Because I, I want to build up the library. Or my PS3 library, you know. Um, I had like 10 extra, like 10 Christmas dollars left over. So I got myself a game called uh, Bulletstorm, I believe. Um, I haven't tested it out yet, but it looks pretty neat. It's like a... Um, it's a first-person shooter, but it has this uh, really cool idea in the like, st like stylish kill system. Like if you do certain things that are stylish or or challenging just for no reason, you know, like getting a trick shot or blind firing into people, you get like points. I don't know what the points are used for, but um, I thought it was a really, uh, I thought it was a really cool idea, so I picked it up. I never heard it, heard of it before. But... What the heck is that? What is he doing here? Who invited the bomb gang to Greece? Yeah, I'm excited about finally um, finally having a PS3 because there are a lot of games I missed out on from this generation. Okay, Hera. Was Hera... Okay, Hera was not the worst. Oh no, we need more morale. What items do I have? I have defense, I have ghost legion. I'm not sure what happens if you reach zero morale and you stay there too long. Ooh.
Oh no. Come on, I need my cats back. stand in the like purple purple circle do I leave my own mob seems pretty easy to just uh, sweep them back up most of the time but damage output is really pathetic right now. I guess that's what having no warriors would do to you. I need more morale. Oh, I have a bomb. That's good. I'll use this bomb. That demoralizing move isn't as devastating as I was making it out to be. Oh! What the heck? Uh-oh. Okay. I think I just realized what that blue thing does. I don't think it deals damage. I think it's turning... Yeah, it's turning my... It's turning my uh, mobsters into livestock. I think they turn back. Get my ghost legion in here. So Hera just can't do damage. Well, that makes Hera a lot less threatening. No mobster left behind? Let's go. need to take a screenshot. Um, go. Now they awake. Okay, this is where I have to start using my brain. I say, as I corner myself. Not the best strategy. Heal. I think I can, I think I'm safe to use items more liberally than I usually would, since my uh, my hero drops items from enemies. I think at current, my mob's pretty healthy though. Free 
traps. Okay, what's left? As long as we don't see the Trojan horse, I feel pretty confident. Ah, uh, lost some folks. Good thing is, I don't have to think about who I'm picking up, because they're all the same. This kind of really says a lot about our society, I think. If you, if you give it a think. Memnon. Boosted morale and attack, but lowered speed. I think that's okay. We'll take that. Something to spend our citizens on. King of Ethiopia, he rose to the defense of Troy and killed tons of Achaeans until he faced Achilles, the only warrior who could best him. So, by morale up, does that mean, like, our base resting morale is better, or we gain morale faster? The latter seems to make more sense to me. Mushroom acquired? Still, have we figured out what the mushroom does, chat? I don't remember ever discovering that. Uh oh. Protect me! How many philosophers do we have? Six. Okay, so we didn't lose any philosophers. Walk. I got my parries on lock. My neutral game is nasty. Okay, um might have gotten a little overconfident. I'm losing I'm losing a few losing a few. Thankfully, these citizens are extremely expendable. Did we kill him? We did. Uh, dime a dozen. doing her own thing. Some of you will die, but that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. This is anarcho-capitalism at work. Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Oh. It's asking, it's asking for our philosophers, though. Oh, uh, I don't think it's worth getting rid of philosophers for anything, really. Unfortunately. So, we're just gonna go ahead and move on. nice it's a compliment to our hero I mean I thought of that right because like we get a lot of items and we can pick up a lot of items but I think just having I think having extra lives is is more um, is better in the long term since 
we're only citizens, right? We don't have any defenders or, or warriors or anything. my hero dies we um, we just don't have the hero ability anymore which is also a good point right if we if we centralize around our hero then our our whole run falls apart if we lose her It would have been nice to be able to grab this meat, though. I wish there was an option to just drop the mushroom. Mmm, look at that. Satisfying every time. Get away. There's a scary altar here, chat. Shall we investigate? If it's a secret boss, then I feel like we're ready. Don't you? It was just sitting here, too. Maybe it's a shop or something. Is it the Hydra again? What? Oh. The Caldonian Boar. And then the mob faced a new rival. The Caldonian Boar. A monstrous animal responsible for hundreds of death. Deaths. Terror in the form of a ham. Scatter, scatter, scatter. Uh-oh. We need to keep as many of these buildings here as possible. Uh-oh. Oh no, that's bad. The mob demands blood. Oh no. One philosopher remains. Keep, keep an eye on that mini map. Uh oh, I'm confused. Any extra mobsters to pick up here? Uh oh. Where'd he go? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh no. This is bad, to say the least. How do I have these people here? Who are these people? Okay, well, am 
might be a slow fight, but we have a chance. Oh yeah, they're my heroes. I, do heroes not count either? Oh no, I only have one hero. DPS isn't horrible. Oh, we're depressed. Dang it. That's a one hit kill, I think. Yikes. What did we unlock? We already unlocked the union rep. We used union rep this round. <laughs> What are you talking about, new content? Epicurus, defeat 40 coward soldiers. Permenides, beat a world without buying any heroes. Okay, first, first run of the day in the books. Not bad. Probably could have gone a lot farther if we didn't <laughs> go for the super boss. Although, in fairness, it could have easily been, like, a special shop or something, you know? Should we go for, um, for all citizens again? Or not? I feel like that kind of, I feel like, well, I mean, we were doing all right. But not having, like, having to pass up on all those heroes did kind of hurt. Oh, well, I heard the morale up jingle. Okay, well, we got some more st we got some more mob leaders to choose from. Epicurus. Boosts max HP, defense, and morale, but lowers critical chance. Interesting. Boosts attack and morale, but lowers defense and speed. Or nothing. Or enemies drop items. Hmm. Morale by 10. Having low defense is kind of kind of sucks because every all of them individually are already squishy right I feel like lower critical chance also is not really that much to cry about because I mean they're random anyway they're a bonus I think I'll go with Epicurus And I will not use the union rep this time. And um, let's just make a gentleman's agreement to not fight any super bosses this time. Warriors. Yes. Take those. Don't eat the poison. He's dead. Oh, didn't see you. Can you remind me why the mob started mobbing again? Was it just because 
the gods be doing gods things. Like, not being very nice. I don't remember the plot. This area is a, a, a minefield. Be careful, team. I have a bomb and I have a ghost legion. Okay. Okay. Menelaus. Boost mob capacity by five. Noah. Duplicated all animals that entered the mob. The one god stepped on that group in the building. It was a dick move. Okay, yeah, you're right. I, I remember. This is a pretty interesting choice. Because... On one hand, Mena Menelaus, 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 Menelaus lets us have five more, like, proper units, but animals also count as units, and there isn't any limit. Like, they're like mini units, but there isn't any limit on them, and there are animals everywhere. Noah? That would leave us with, still with four slaves, which isn't bad. Yeah, let's go with Noah. Noah has a sacred task of gathering two animals of each species. If he grabs just one, he will have to clone it or something. Let's go, Noah. Instant double wolf. I can already see this getting ridiculous. Why are these things running away? Is the game just having mercy on me? this time. I saw this guy in a Kirby game at some point. Who's left? Is that one of those cowards? Yeah. There he is. Look at the s absolute size of this mob. How much do you think one animal is worth? Like, what do you think the equivalent of one animal is to like, or how many animals would you have to have to make up for one like citizen? Maybe like four?
18. <laughs> Where are you getting that number from? Warriors. Defenders. The Onion. <laughs> It, uh, nice to have some warriors. Our attack isn't very high. So. I mean, we have a lot. We have DPS from the animals, I presume. But. Yeah, let's get some attack. Uh, okay, what do we have? Ghost and explosive. The thing is, at some point, is having this many people in your mob like a detriment because like I assume only the ones in contact with the target actually deal damage so the ones on the outside just doing nothing oops I accidentally killed somebody Where's my mob at? Guys. Classic mob. Oops. You hate to see your, your fellow mobsters get turned into paste, but sometimes it's just how things happen. Absolutely frenetic right now. Is this a boss? It looks like a boss door. Nice. Probably don't have what it wants though. I'm not sure what it wants. It doesn't have any keyholes. It has that incense thing on the top. Maybe it wants me to destroy all of them. That are in the map. Uh, but I did say no super bosses this time. Okay, let's see. Feodipides. Boosts speed by 25, but lowers defense by 10. Boosts HP by 25 and morale by 25. That's pretty good. Like, that's a pretty substantial boost. It costs five of my citizens. Well, I mean, citizens are pretty expendable. Extra speed. Yeah, I think I'm going with Indigony. By sticking to the laws of the gods over the unjust laws of humans, she gives a hefty bonus to the mob, even though they want to kill the gods. Yeah, kind of weird, but... um. I suppose we'll ignore that for the plot. It's her again. <laughs> Ram. 
wrangle them up. Uh, doesn't seem to duplicate the ones that run away. That's a shame. That would have been kind of broken, though. clean sweep technique. My ghost is running away. Don't care. Nice. Hera is gone. Hera might be the new easiest boss. gonna be honest okay what do we got we have philosophers down there some defenders some citizens I get another philosopher how many do we have actually three lose track of where the leader is. Because, you know, obviously you're, you're paying attention to the, uh, you're paying attention to where your mob is, right? So, where your leader is kind of becomes an afterthought. But that's dangerous for an ob for obvious reasons. You know? Group up. Ah, your leg is caught in a bear trap. Protect me. These guys always go for me. They always head directly for the leader. We're mega chaotic. I have such crackhead energy. still in my team? He is. Okay. What do we got? Asura Centauro, Centur Asura Centuros boosts nearby units attack by 40, defense by 25, and morale by 25. Though that's pretty big. I think 40% is the one of the biggest bonuses I've seen so far. Or Dianira. She dealt damage to enemies over time. Hmm. Wow. Uh, our HP is 35. Our morale is 35. Uh -huh. 
I think this. Well, you can't actually. You can't see what I'm pointing at. <laughs> I probably did. I just block the screen. Um. I'm thinking Asura Sincharos is by far better for damage output than Dianera is. Um. I think because I don't know what her DOT like value is. Um. But everybody having plus 40%, I think that's just too good to pass up. Plus, I haven't unlocked this guy yet. This picturesque character is a full bard, although his music was not always well received. Look at that. That covers just about everybody. And arrows rain down on the mob. But didn't blot out the sun. That would have been too Persian. Okay. Oh my gosh. There are a lot of you. Up. I'm scared. Get the sheep. Two by two. Oh, where'd you come from? Chaotic energy. Yes. I'm gonna pop that now. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Actually figured it out this time. Run, everybody run. Okay, what do we got? We have two philosophers. Our defense is pretty high, our attack is getting buffed. So, I'm going to I'm going to grab some philosophers. Stay chaotic. As long as the blood keeps flowing, the mob will be satiated. Oh no. Body block. Okay. What hero did we lose? What did he do? Can I see him? Oh no. Is this an alphabetical order? to see what he did. I don't remember. Well, there's the boss again. I'll I'll be skipping out on him though. At this point I'm just looking for uh, for livestock to add to the party. Oh! Oh, 
like, where did they come from? They're on the other side, but I, I keep I keep forgetting that I have Pandora on the team. So enemies just come out of nowhere. Oh, I already, I already had that guy. Death. Okay. Boot. Oh, just, just, just a flat attack boost. I'll take him. Stop describing me as Achilles' friend said the Akanian's companion. Really did him like that, Homer. Artemis. Goddess of hunting. Very vocal about climate change. Oh no, it's the it's the trapper. her is that she doesn't target the mob. She she only targets the leader. Which is uh, pretty good for me. The only thing you gotta worry about is the traps, but if you just hold down left bumper and keep them all grouped together, not really a problem. <laughs> We be in Sparta. This is Sparta after all. How old is that reference by now? Like that has to be an ancient meme. Bruh. Those citizens really do be standing in the spikes, though. I would like to move out of the spike room. No! My dog! A key? Nah, keys only mean trouble. Yo, look at all this livestock! Oh, yes, bolster my numbers. You love to see farms. Yes. Oh, look at this. We're massive. Go down the alley. I can't read this guy's attacks. They're too subtle. the most crippled citizen that I can find. What do we got? Theseus. 
boost attack by 25. Climanestra. Heals each unit that made a perfect block. Ooh. Isaacos. Hmm. I wonder what that's a reference to. Healing on perfect block does sound pretty good, at least on paper. But 25% attack boost on top of all the animals I have, on top of the, the bard buff, we could be looking at a pretty high DPS build. Because what would that be? 135 plus 40. 175% extra attack for essentially everybody. And I have 43 animals right now. Could be big. I still don't know if animals attack though. That's the thing. Like I might be misunderstanding what animals do. They might just be like cannon fodder, you know? Like they draw the aggro. They die so that somebody else doesn't have to. You know what I mean? But, I mean, I don't know. I think they get buffed by attack. Like buffs. I don't know. Clay Minestra also requires me to have consistent skill, which might be an issue. And I get to keep my warriors. Hmm. Any thoughts, chat? I'll take your opinion on this one. Go ahead and make a decision. Healing. Do a lot of blocking. I do. But perfect blocking? I need to step up my uh, my blocking game. On one hand, she killed Agamemnon. But on the other hand, she cheers everyone the mob. So, we like her. Chunky. We love to see that. Uh oh, my goat is poisoned. All right, I can just destroy these. Decimated. Annihilated even. Oh, I can go. Oh, you know what? I forgot that was a thing. If I, if I command them to flee, then it makes me faster as well. Good to know. If 
But I am more liable of stepping into a trap this way. Citizens, warriors, or philosophers? Hmm. I do already have six warriors. Do I want to give up my slaves, though? I'll only have one left over. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know. Should we keep our slaves? I mean, they're only really holding keys right now. Let's see. Warrior, the best offense is a good offense. Okay. I suppose you're right in some contexts. rush them. Give them no chance of survival. If fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight. spikes back there I per I perfect uh, I perfect guarded the spikes earlier so I wonder if you could like farm healing off those spikes I kind of don't want to try it but interesting idea Menelaus yeah we'll take him why don't I ever get the cool guys well, I guess that's what the, the slaves do. It seems like trading slaves gives you the the weirdest heroes. Brother of Agamemnon and central figure in the Trojan War, he appeared in the Iliad and signed on for the sequel, The Odyssey. Boss time? Who are you? Oh, who are you? Well, who are you? Oh no. And then the mob faced a new rival, Ares. He was the original god of war and a P2P distribution pioneer. A 
Okay. New boss. Phobo Phobos. Rapidly losing mobsters. Can I destroy the stands? What the heck is that thing? New tech. Um, if you just if you just spam guard, then you're you're most likely going to uh, you're most likely going to get a perfect guard. Okay, Ares himself has appeared. See, if I just do this. Farm healing. Okay, but I need to kill Ares right now. Oh, I need to get out of here. learning the value of the tactical retreat. busy. Pick up stragglers. There we go. Woo! That was, that was a pretty hard one. That was pretty intense. Where was I? Oh, yes. Atlantis? Atlantis? What do you mean, Atlantis? How did we get here?
I think this, uh, I think that parry to heal is, uh, is paying off right now. Need to collect as many folks as I can before we begin. It's a little above, oh! This place is a little a bit above water to be Atlantis, isn't it? Oh! Whirlpools? Leave! Can we permanently lose people to whirlpools? Okay. These guys are definitely doing more damage on average. Than before. Those guys are free parries. They're a little annoying, though. Not gonna lie. really did a number. Okay. Now, are there any fellas we missed? No one to no one to gain. It's unfortunate. I got punked by these statues. Go. What do they do? I'm actually going to check the encyclopedia here. Nymph. Turns bystanders into enemies. Okay. So these bystanders standing around can turn into bad guys. seem pretty weak on their own though I mean, well, they are Poseidon's daughters, and Poseidon's a god, and we don't like them, so. Are 
Oh, this is the boss. Look at that. Uh, just realized we lost our bard. That's unfortunate. been able to parry these nymphs one time. Not sure what I'm doing wrong there. Also, not sure if I've seen much livestock recently. Okay, trade defenders for something. Hmm. I'd like to keep my defense high. Especially, well, we could either keep our defenders to keep our defense up, or... We could get some more defender or philosophers to make up for the two philosophers we have. Because four slaves are about as many as we need. We have six warriors already. Philosophers? Probably a good choice. Actually insane. You can perfect block the spikes, but it's not worth it. Livestock is no longer appearing. Which kind of hurts. Yeah, 
I only have one animal left. Perithi Perithi Perithous. He temporarily bound to the ground enemies he attacked. Uh, but he calls philosophers. Hmm. It'd leave us with three. Which is a little concerning, because I, I think we're about to go into a boss. Rather situational, too. I think we're going to skip out on Perithous. Have a bomb to my name? Aphrodite. And then the mom faced a new rival, Aphrodite. Goddess of beauty and love, she was the Greek equivalent of the sexologist who appears on TV today. I like how she has the little sensor bar. That's funny. What does she do? Oh no, she's turning my dudes against me. That's not good. Does it wear off? Because if not, then that's just busted. That doesn't look like I can block it either, which is more busted. What? What's the counterplay? Don't be close to her? Is that the counterplay? She's stealing all of my dudes. This might be where the run ends. Yikes! Yikes indeed. Well, at least we're mega chaotic. I shouldn't be bothering with these guys. But if I go anywhere near Aphrodite, she just turns my turns my units into bad guys. I'm gonna see if waiting turns them back. It does. Okay. So I need to avoid killing my units when they get turned. I might have learned that a little too late, though. This is this is brutal. Yeah, I think it's it's over. It's over. I mean, we try to be positive here on this stream, but it's over. Yeah, there it is. Big yikes, dude. Stop telling me unlocked union rep. 
I've unlocked Union Rep four separate times. This hasn't happened for anybody. For anybody else. I got Daedalus, Tarzan, and Retro Warrior. Okay. We might have time for one more good run. What's that? It's the union rep that turns them into a civic unit? I've only ever seen one union rep option available. This is a thing. Oh, you're right. I didn't notice that the first time. Good catch there. Uh. Oh, he uh, boosts stats overall. Enemies drop items. I think Epicurus is just a good all-rounder. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. Pandora. Props drop items. The Dallas made props and buildings easier to destroy. That, that's kind of worthless. <laughs> They're already pretty easy to destroy. I don't know about that one. Boost one random stat. Boosts defense by 75 and morale by 75 of animals in the mob. Okay. That would pair well with Noah, but, you know. Retro Warrior. Boosted defense by 50. Lowered speed by 25. That's a lot of defense. Turns all bystanders into warriors. Turns all bystanders into slaves. Turns all bystanders into citizens. Made the mob invisible until they were attacked. Well, that guy obviously is the goat. What happens if you have all the union reps? What happens then? Does anything happen? I'm going to start a run just to see what it does. Yes, we know about Delphi. Um. Uh, were they all warriors? I think they were all warriors. Let me see. Well, there's animals there. I'm trying to see, are there any more bystanders left? Yeah. Okay, I think at that point it just randomizes it. End of the run. Save and quit. New game. Okay. I know who you are, Homer. Yeah, then we got stepped on. It's up to the player's imagination which god stepped on them. I think it's a stroke of literary genius. I I mean, it's not controversial. Personally, I think it's Zeus.
We could go for like a super duper DPS run. Like have all warriors. Why don't we try that? All of them are warriors. How slow will we be? Pretty slow. Of animals. Boost our defense. Medicine's pretty good. We'll take this. Our speed is atrocious. Although, can't really, I don't really notice. Maybe it's talking about attack speed? I hadn't considered that yet. Yeah, I think it's attack speed that it's talking about, not movement speed. So we have big burst damage, but um, not very much uh, on the terms of, of rapid fire attacking. So theoretically, we should deal a lot of damage really fast. Dang it. They're already hitting us with the, the poison barrels. Apparently animals actually literally do nothing. So having a bunch of animals don't do anything. Except like body block attacks, I guess. Which I guess is an alright niche. to me that there are probably a lot of features and mechanics that I just forgot about from the tutorial that are probably really important. sounded pretty dumb thinking that I had like a huge DPS machine with all those animals. Definitely taking philosophers. I wonder if there's a philosopher union rep. I'm 
Not sure how helpful that would be. I mean, it'd be really good insurance, I guess, but. Not sure that philosophers are very great at anything else except for being alive. Ouch. I would like a boost in speed though. If I find a hero that boosts speed, I'm definitely taking them. Because having these slow ass attacks, I think is uh, an overall detriment. But you know, of course, uh, I can't afford anything. So. Apollo, okay. Really makes you go, okay. by Apollo. Yeah, just keep healing. That's definitely working. Just shred this guy. He stands no chance. If he actually spent some time attacking and not healing, then... Oh, he might actually, um, he might actually be a challenge. I have to be cocky now. Because I, I won't get to be later. I'm just warriors now, right? Yeah. Oh, welcome to the chat. Uh... Prison. Um, so this game basically is um, you collect uh, mobsters for your mob and you command your mob in order to uh, destroy uh, monsters uh, until you can get to the boss of the stage which is one of the Greek gods and then um, yeah <laughs> These mobs can get kind of, uh, kind of unruly. But yeah, you, you fight a god at the end of each stage. And the goal of the game is to defeat all the gods in the, in the run. I think I, there's probably like six stages. I haven't gone, I've gone through three. Uh, this is a roguelike. And uh, I like to describe it as Pikmin, but uh, with angry Greek people, because it's essentially what it is. It, it reminds me a lot of Pikmin. Uh, though I've never played Pikmin, mind you, but I imagine this is kind of what it's like. And also, uh, Katamari, Katamari Damacy, have you ever heard of that? Because as you, uh, as you attack, you build morale within your mob, and they get angrier and angrier until they can destroy buildings uh, so it can kind of snowball if you're uh, if you're chaining attacks rather uh, rather frequently yeah I don't know where I, I found this game I don't know when I downloaded it um, I probably saw like a youtuber or something playing it at some point I was like oh that's pretty cool I'll go ahead and get that. Or maybe I got in like a humble bundle pack or something. I don't remember. But uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. 
has a little bit more um, has a little bit more of a tactical spin on it than you think. Because I can attack, I can scatter, I can group up or defend. And in later stages, the attack patterns start getting kind of wacky. These heroes give you special boosts. Um, you'll see that uh, my entire mob is built up of warriors. What is the strategy in those movements? To avoid damage? Yeah. So, like, each, each mobster has individual health. And um, if you lose all of your mobsters, you die. Or, specifically, if you lose all of your philosophers in your mob, then you lose. Um, you can see that I have five at the top there in the, um, in the column of mobsters. I have five philosophers, uh, 18 warriors, and not much of anything else because of a hero I took at the beginning. Uh, so training five for one of these is not really, uh, much. Uh, I think I'm going to go with... Ajax because my my attack is like really strong right now but my attack speed is really low uh, I would have liked something that gives me speed um, my defense I think I only have 40 defense because of a of a hero I have I think I'm gonna go. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Ajax on this one. Ajax wanted some special armor. When he lost against Odysseus, he committed suicide, throwing himself upon his own sword, proving that the armor would have come in handy. Yeah, Ho Homer is here to provide color commentary. It's a little bit quirky. It's a little bit quirky, yeah. These guys like to swarm the leader, uh, which is annoying when you uh, forget where you are. But one of the one of the main uh, things you have to remember with positioning is putting your mob in between you, in between the leader and whatever is coming to kill you, because they can't run through the mob very fast. By the time they would get on the other side, they'd be dead. And of course, like, area of effect projectiles are, uh, are something you want to walk around. So enemies path to you? Um, I think it depends on the enemy. Sometimes they, you know, shoot fireballs from a distance. Sometimes they run directly towards me. Um, I mean, they go around stuff, obviously. Uh, sometimes they attack the mob instead of you. It varies. And there's also traps sometimes. Like, there's giant bear traps. And, like, um, like explosive barrels. So you can't just run around and attack thoughtlessly. Mm, okay, so normally I would have grabbed some slaves. Because they allow you to carry items. Like, uh, one-use items. But it costs five philosophers, and I only have five. It would leave me with one, but philosophers are hard to come by when all of the bystanders spawn as, uh, as, as warriors and nothing else. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. Secret 
secret boss. Well, okay, that's not a secret boss. I know what boss that is. Spam the block button. You can parry in this game as well. Which, uh, I don't exactly remember what it does. I think it just prevents you from taking damage. Like, blocking normally just gives you chip damage. But I believe the perfect block uh, gives you no damage at all. Which would, you know, that fits the convention of a perfect block, I think. Some enemies are, of course, easier to parry than others. Uh, some of them, it's like literally free. But other t there, there's some enemies that I haven't been able to parry one time, I think. Where, where is he? And in case you're wondering, the animals do literally nothing. Except uh, body block for you. that if you just spam the block button though you can mostly uh you'll, you'll most of the time get a uh, a perfect block yeah they're just chilling here they don't add to my mob count but Ooh, what is this kiri's she transformed to an undead after dying and kept fighting forever okay a warrior that never dies could be could be nice Einsteinos he increased a random stat by 25% each level but at the same time lowered another random stat by 10% or Philoctetes he had a special ranged attack hmm okay what do you think chat should we get an archer or a warrior that will never die? I mean, that's not, that said, you know, that's nothing to say what her attack is. She might be really weak, but with a, I mean, she has a scythe. Undead warrior pog. Hmm. She costs 15. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh my gosh, Death Warrior is hot. Come on, Cap. Down abysmal. Look at that, she's like 50 pixels. Ah, oh, Drizzt, not you too. The scariest thing since the wave of Japanese horror films. Uh, unfortunately, that means I only have 10, 10 warriors. Death Warrior already pulled. No, come back. DM for Link. Dionysus. Um, I don't remember what he does. Poison. Okay. Poison. I do like poison. I probably should have considered the fact that um, I'd be going into this with only 10 actual mobsters before purchasing a uh, purchasing a unit for 10 for 15. But uh, I suppose that's that's data for next time. Why can't I hit you? Me. 
Uh oh. I am confused. I reversed my controls. This is unfortunate. Just tank it. Just tank it, guys. I mean, I know at the very least I'll have one unit to, uh, to fight for me, right? I mean, at least one. I think most of my animals are dead. Um, so I suppose they're doing their job. Farm some trees for morale. Punching trees really gets the mob going for some reason. get it because mob it's a pretty good one I wouldn't have come up with that one uh, hmm. I, I just might not have enough DPS for this see the last time I came to this fight it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't so bad I think I just had a bad comp coming in. I have a dog though. <laughs> Hindsight is always 2020. Yeah. At least I have the uh at least I have our death wife with us. said about snowballing works the other way too because like these bosses just keep spawning like trash um, and like you know if you're dead then you can't fight back and if you can't fight back it spawns more I'm also depressed if I play like godlike, I might be able to survive. But uh, don't hold your breath for that one. This has become a bullet hell. Okay, good damage. Take out some of the ads. I at least need to keep hitting them for morale. If you win this, you'll send me $20. Easiest $20 I'll ever make. still have my heroes.
That's not good. Oh no. All right, don't get depressed. Come on. Only our undead warrior remains. She is steadfast and loyal, but is she strong enough? I need healing. I need healing. Keep your spirits up. Oh, he's fast. He's fast. Oh, no. I'm probably like one hit from death right now. I'm one shot. I'm one shot. I can't even fight Dionysus right now. There's too many ads. I really shouldn't be going down though. Like down is the worst direction to walk in this situation. Dang it. It only takes one. That was, uh... <laughs> you made the joke last time, Cap. <laughs> you can't make the same joke twice. Well, I suppose nobody would have known if I didn't tell that, but... That was intense. Um, I don't. I don't know if I had any realistic shot. Um, probably should have just focused on Dionysus from the get go. Um, so I think we learned today that attack speed is important. Um, but I think that's a pretty good. Uh, I think that's a pretty good run to end on. Um, that was a that was a fun run. We got all the way to Atlantis today. I think that was one, two, three. Let's see. Sparta. I think that was stage four. So not bad. But that is going to be the last run for the day. We uh, change the channel. Boosh. Okay. So, um, thank you all for uh, coming out tonight, uh, watching or listening. Um, I am improving. I am improving. Not well. I learned how the sprinting works, uh, halfway through our second run, or halfway through this stream. So that helped. Um, I think I'm starting to consider strategy. Um, more thoroughly. Um. I'm, I'm seeing that like min maxing is not a very good strategy so far. Um, of course, the first time I thought I was min-maxing, I just had a lot of animals and that didn't do anything. Um, but going all out for attack, well, going all out for attack probably isn't like bad per se, but I paired it with slow speed. So I think that kind of, I think that kind of killed me there. Um, but yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll get to the end within the next few streams, but, um, we'll have to see. So, um, we'll be playing again, same time, six to eight. 
uh, we'll be we'll be doing more. Oh, actually, no. Uh, Fridays six to nine. Nice. Um, sorry. Uh, three hour streams on Fridays. We'll be doing more O close. So hope to see y'all there that time. Um, I plan on not losing uh, on Friday. Um, let's see. I felt like there was something that I needed to mention. Uh, I didn't mention this last time, but I suppose I'll mention it now. Um, I've mentioned a few times that I've been working on a card game. And um, I actually ordered the first physical copy of that uh, a few days ago. And it is on its way to me now. I'll get it sometime in early February. And um, I'm excited to to play that with some folks IRL. Yeah, get a. I, I'll do like you know. I'll I'll make sure they print it correctly and all that. And um, once I determine that everything is, um, you know, it looks good and everything's in place, then I do plan on releasing the game the first edition of it so um if you're into that if you're into deck building card games then um maybe look forward to that i still haven't figured out a sale model or anything like that yet but i'll figure it out it'll be released on the game crafter um for those wondering I think that's everything. So once again, thank you everybody for being here, tuning in. Um, I appreciate anybody that chooses to spend their evening with me. And um, I hope to see y'all in the next one, uh, in the next stream. So uh, until then, goodbye. Have a good night. And, um, oh, dang it. I was supposed to say goodbye last. I still haven't figured out my, my outro yet. Um, point is, thanks for coming and goodbye. Fumbled the bag again. Can you believe it? <laughs> I pressed my, I pressed my mute mic button instead of the end stream button. While we're here, any any suggestions? Any suggestions for an outro? I feel like I should have one. I just kind of wing it every time. Maybe like... Thank you, Drizzit. Appreciate you coming out. I, uh, I always love seeing uh, you in the chat. Maybe some quirky jazz. Like, um... Oh, that's cringe. Let's not say that. Um, I don't know. I mean, on the spot, it's hard. It's hard to come up with something quirky. Um, what's I mean? What's my theme? Right? I don't really have a theme. Um, I can't just take the Truman Show. Like, good night, good morning, and I actually don't remember what he says. Good morning, good night, and good evening. How about stay su <laughs> stay sussy, friends? <laughs> Something 8-bit. Mm. Like. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> um, stay su I'm not using stay sussy. Um... I'll figure it out. By next stream, maybe I'll 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 run some uh <laughs> I'll run some ideas. It was original, but uh, originality only takes you so far. I think you'll agree. I don't know. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> Thank you all for coming out. Until next time. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep. <laughs> How's that? Does that really does that really hook you in?
perfect. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll we'll go out with that then. Gets me hard. Okay. Should we? Uh, let me. I need to find something else. True. <laughs> okay. Well, I've extended this long enough. So um. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you. Good night. Good evening. And, uh, goodbye.